Australia and New Zealand are among the most developed countries in the world. Australia's reputation as an open, prosperous, and innovative economy makes us a leading and attractive destination for global business, continuing to outpace other advanced economies. Australia is considered a wealthy nation with a market-based economy that has a comparatively high gross domestic product and per capita income. We will show new Australia MEGA projects that we did not mention in previous videos. Melbourne will soon gain an eye-catching addition to its skyline. With the construction of a new, extremely tall skyscraper, not only will this mammoth high-rise building be the tallest in city, it'll be the tallest in the country, standing at a whopping 365 meters tall. And that's not the only record it'll break. The skyscraper will include 15,500 sqm of landscaping with 30,000 plants on its exterior, making it the tallest vertical garden in the whole wide world. This gargantuan high-rise building is called SDHBNK and it'll be built on the junction of City Road and South Bank Boulevard, right next to Melbourne's current tallest building, Australia 108. It'll be made up of two towers, one taller than the other, but the shorter still rising to an impressive 288 meters. And what will be inside these two towers? Well, just about everything and anything you could imagine. It's pretty much going to be a mini vertical city. South Bank is Brisbane's premier lifestyle and cultural destination. Located on the southern banks of the Brisbane River, its 17 hectares of lush parklands, world-class eateries, stunning river views and hundreds of delightful events all year round make it the perfect place to relax and unwind. SDHBNK will consist of hundreds of residential apartments, 35,000 square meters of office space, a resort with 210 suites, a Four Seasons Hotel, a conference and entertainment center, a children's play center, a whole floor with a dedicated health and wellness zone an international art gallery curated by Paris prestigious Centre Pompidou and retail space, and a sky garden, calling it swanky doesn't even begin to cover it. Square Kilometre Array Australia will host SKA Low, which will have 131,072 antennas receiving low-frequency radio waves. Each antenna will be 2 metres tall and shaped like a Christmas tree. SKA Low will be constructed at Aniramanha Elgari Bandara, the CSIRO Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory in Western Australia. South Africa will host SKA Mid, which will be made up of 197 dish antennas receiving mid-frequency radio waves. In remote Western Australia, around 800 kilometers north of Perth, part of the ancestral lands of the Wadjuri Yamaji, in the Australian radio quiet zone WA to protect the telescope from radio interference from electronic devices. Construction on the SKA telescopes has started and is expected to finish by 2028. Radio astronomy led to the development of new technologies. These technologies are used in important fields such as computer science, medical imaging and advanced manufacturing. The SKA project is also expected to create technologies with broad applications. Astronomers will analyze SKA data to achieve the project's science goals. Processing the unprecedented flow of data from the telescopes will require more supercomputing power than today's best technology. The Posi Supercomputing Centre in Western Australia will house a new supercomputing facility. Snowy 2.0 Snowy 2.0 is a pumped hydroelectric storage and generation project. It will become Australia's biggest green energy project and the world's biggest pumped storage plant upon completion. The plant is being developed with an estimated investment of $3.62 billion. It is an expansion of the Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme, which was commissioned in 1974. It is expected to be completed in December 2028 and commissioned by December 2029. The plant will help deliver reliable and affordable energy by adding 2 gigawatts of hydroelectric generation capacity to the Snowy scheme which has an installed capacity of 3.8 gigawatts. The Snowy 2.0 pumped hydroelectric storage and generation project will involve the construction of a series of 27 km of concrete line tunnels that will connect the existing Tantangara and Taubingo reservoirs located within the Snowy Scheme and NSW. A new power station with pumping facilities will be built approximately 1 km underground between the two reservoirs. It will include six reversible Francis pump turbine and motor generator units, of which three units will be of variable speed while the remaining will be of synchronous speed. The underground power station will also feature a machine and transformer hull with six galleries. The pressure shaft and penstock will be shared among the units that will be arranged in alternating pairs. Large volumes of water will be stored in the Tantangar Reservoir, which is located at a higher elevation than the Talbingo Reservoir and will be used for on-demand electricity generation.